Everybody, what's going on? It's Matt Holmes with BodySynergy.tv. So, um, this is part one of a five-day series I'm going to do about um, building your own home gym, um, how to make certain things like sandbags, where you can pick stuff up, going to Home Depot, Army Surplus stores, things like that to um, kind of save you guys some money because I know a lot of people, you know, don't want to go to the gym or they want to create their own home gym, but um, they kind of don't know where to start, what to look for. Um, so let me kind of show you some of what I have going on here. We'll start over here in the corner. Um, these are the posts for the Prowler. Obviously, um, I paid for that one. That wasn't uh, too too cheap. But I'm going to show you some of the things that, you know, you don't need a Prowler. You can even make things like that. Um, so I'll show you guys some more cheaper alternatives. And as you want to add stuff, you can. You know, not everything I'm going to show you you're going to want to spend. Because I've spent some money on things. And some of the stuff I'll tell you how much I got it for or if I got it for free. Um, sledgehammer down here, but 10 pound sledgehammer. Um, got that one for free actually um, for my mom. Uh, did some work for it at her house, and that was exchange. She bought me a sledgehammer. Um, you'll see I have sleds down here. Bunch towels. Those are basically free. Um, sleds that I had built. Um, I had to buy the uh, the material for it, and a friend of mine did it because um, he could weld stuff. So I just paid for the welding material stuff so um that was probably about 150 bucks for both of those so you can find people on craigslist that'll weld things you can show them what you want and then they'll do it and then you can probably get it done for pretty cheap um i just got really thick thick sheets of uh steel so it was a little more expensive um sandbags that you can see here um real cheap i'm going to show you guys in a couple days we're going to go to army surplus store i'll show you what to look for uh, pick some sand up and then i'll make them in a video for you uh fly machine here i actually got this for free you can tell it's really really old but whatever it works one of my rusty plates down there um let's go over here to the side we've got uh center blocks those are free um in some videos you see i make platforms out of them to uh raise my the elevation of my feet or you can do them um, elevated push-ups, anything. You can do tons of stuff with them. You can even press them. Um, tires, you'll have to find uh, local tire shops um, that have them. It took me a little while. Some places have them, some places don't. Just take some time and find something, ask around, um, and you can get those for free. Uh, another free tire I picked up. Uh, my battery might die here, so if it does, I'll pick back up. Um, platform right there for doing cap raises, anything else. Wood nails, basically pretty cheap. Um, let's go over here. Uh, another center block, a uh, heavy bag. Well, it's kind of medium bag. It's about 65, 70 pounds. I got that actually donated for free from um, a friend of mine, Josh Carter, who owns another gym. His gym is closing down one of them and because um, he opened another facility, and he gave that to me uh, for free. So you can see a bunch of my weight plates here. I got all of those off of Craigslist. I'm going to show you guys also on Craigslist how to look for other things. Um, you know, contact people on uh, certain stuff like that. Some keywords you can type in to look. You know, take some time, but we'll go on that another day. Um, so I got about, probably about 400 pounds of weights, um, an easy curl bar, a uh, Olympic bar, and all the weights. And then, like I said, that was 100 bucks. I had to drive in about 45 minutes, but that's all right. Um, cakes right here. I got kegs also on Craigslist for 30 bucks each, so that's $60 there. The Prowler, again, you can get that off Elite FTS if you want. Um, foam roller, found that at um, Play Against Sports. Uh, it was like 20 bucks. So um, you can find those, you can even find them online. Um, cones, you guys saw one episode, and then an ab wheel. Um, really cheap ab wheel, but a client of mine donated it, so that was cool. Um, a couple mats that you can see right here. Uh, those were actually donated. Um, they're my grandma's from a while ago, and um, she didn't need them, so I got them. Kettlebell bought those, obviously. Um, you don't need them, but they're a great addition. I love them. Um, these, I bought this one and this one over here, but these two were donated with some extra weights in here, actually. They were given to me by a friend. Also, this 20-pound one. So again, um, you can find stuff. A lot of people ask around you know family members friends a lot of people have crap in their house that they don't use you can either get it from them they'll give it to you or you can get it for really cheap um chains again those are off elite fts about 100 bucks for the set um but again you don't need them jungle gym bought that pretty cheap and expensive uh great you can do a bunch of stuff with them uh jump rope real cheap but definitely something you're going to want to have 
uh, Olympic rings and um, uh, sled straps. So a lot of stuff you can see. You don't need basic um, some hand weights. Check out a look at um, some basic hand weights and um, a barbell set can start you off. And then you can start with sandbags also because that's a real cheap and expensive way. And um, used tires. I'm going to show you guys some more. I just want to give you a tour of what I had. And again, most of the stuff I started out with less than this. So most of it I spent without all the stuff that I, you know, the prowler and the chains and all and the straps that I got from Elite. Spent maybe a couple hundred bucks. That's it. You know, real cheap and inexpensive. Two sandbags was maybe 60, 50, 60 bucks. And I made it myself with some duct tape. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, basic overview of what I have so you can see what I have to work with and um, all the different types of workouts that I can do. So again, check back over the next couple days and I'll be uh, touring you guys around, showing you how to make all this different stuff so you can have your own home gym for, you know, a hundred bucks, a couple hundred bucks or less. So, all right, stay tuned.